Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World of Wayne. Today, we're going to do the next six stages of the Agora Models release of Build the RMS Titanic. Now just to remind you, this is available from Agora Models in certain territories only. So check the Agora Models website, I have put the link down here in the video description so you can see exactly where that is. Now we are going to start with stage 21 today, but before I do, I just want to correct something uh, from the last pack. And as you can see here, this was the funnel that we did in the last pack. I've actually taken out the steamer. The steamer doesn't need to be in there at this time. So the only things that I've got in here is this extension cable coming from the top here and then coming out the bottom. The reason we've done that is I'm going to be doing that again today uh, on the stages that we've got coming up because we're going to be doing another funnel. But obviously we do need to put a uh, some liquid in this reservoir. While it's in there, I wouldn't be able to do that. So I have taken this out uh, and this is where we were finished up on the last pack. But there you go, but six issues today. And I've also heard that issue 22 is quite a doozy. It's going to take us a little bit of time to actually do that one. So we'll see what that is. But we're going to start today with stage 21. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So here is stage 21 here. I'll just give you a quick flick through uh, the magazine again. Looking just like that. Lots of uh, history and stuff in all of these magazines. But today, it looks like we're going to be starting by putting a little kill section on the ship which we've been working on at the moment. So at the end, it's going to look just like that. Once again, they come in these uh, boxes here. Keep everything protected. So get this out. Bring over the hole that we've been working on previously. And mirroring what we've got on the other side there, this quite simply is just going to go into this section just here over the lugs that you can just see on the side and there you go when it's in it should look like that it does take some time to get that snapped in but we are going to be putting some screws in here just put this back on the stand so the first screws I'm going to put in are IM screws going into metal I am going to use my bigger PH1 screwdriver for this but they look just like that and I'll get these in. Now there's four positions for these to go in. So I'll get all four of these in. One, two, three, four. And then we'll come back to this. Now if you look here, we have got two holes to put some screws in here and here. I've started one off there. Uh, those screws are actually controlled by an Allen key. Got the Allen key head here. So I'm just going to get these tightened up and put into place. I'll tell you now, this bottom one takes a while to get in that took an age but once that's in it should look like that and that's all there is to do in that stage so that leads us to stage 22 and as i said this is going to be uh, quite a busy issue this one if I turn to what we've got to do, we've got a lot of photo etch parts here, which are window frames here. We're going to cut them off the front parts and we're going to be putting these all around the decks here. At the same time, once they're done on that side and the other side there, we're actually going to take out uh, the middle section of the second funnel, just like we did at the start of this one. Uh, and we're going to put the extension cable through there. We've also got some lights to install here as well. Uh, so by the end of it, as you see, it's a very busy issue. So everything in this box here is stage 22. And I'm guessing wrapped up in this tissue paper is the photo etch details. We have also got uh, the lip here for the wire and we've got an extension wire. But I think the first thing I'm gonna do, just to save time, is I'm gonna cut off all of these photo etch details use a sharp knife for this and you will uh, see the little things that are holding these in the little tiny edges and it's just a case of snipping them one and two and they come off as easy as that now this will be the deck that we're working on first and we're going to be putting uh, those frames on the holes around either side here now those frames aren't the round ones they're these square ones here so i'll just cut one of them off show you one of these going on and i think what we'll do is we'll come back to that because there's going to be a lot now i am wearing my glasses because this is very detailed work 
Now I've got my little dabbing device here, which is just an Archimedes drill with a normal pin in the end. And I'm going to put some super glue just here. Not a lot, because the secret of doing this section is less is more. So to keep this into place, I just want to touch the frame with this super glue on the inside channel there. Now I'm only putting a dab of glue just at the top and the bottom. Get my tweezers to pick this part up, just like that. And I'm now going to put that into place. Line it up. And make sure it's seated in there perfectly, just like that. I'm going to repeat that for every window on both sides of this. Now this is time consuming, but that's one side done. That's taken about five to 10 minutes. <laughs> I've just got to do the other side now. And there you go, that's the other side done. So we've got one side and the other side. Certainly takes its time, but that's one side because we're now gonna do exactly the same thing on this deck here with the semicircular windows here. So I'd already cut one off. Let's uh, put this end one in, I think. Again, I'm only putting the glue just on the top and the bottom. That should be enough to hold this in. Drop the window in. So that looks like that. And once again, I'm gonna repeat that for all the other windows. And when that's done, it should just look like that. That one there and those on that side really takes your time doing that but if you do it slow make sure everything's lined up square like that impressive results now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take out the next set of lights i'm just going to plug these into the test board just to confirm that they work this is the test board that we had last time so as you can see they're all on working perfect take the deck we've just been working on and turn it upside down I'll have it this way round. I just need to ensure that I put this in the right way. So it's gonna go with these lights here pointing upwards. These LEDs are gonna go through the holes here. So one this side and one on the other side here. And then we're just gonna clip these into place with the tabs that we've just got on the bottom. Now I do use a flat headed screwdriver just to help get these in without putting undue stress on the circuit board. So I put my flat head in here to put this pin back and then push that in that will hold that into place perfectly now you know me i just double 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 want to check i haven't broke anything so i am just gonna plug this back into the circuit board and as you can see everything is still working absolutely fine so that's the lights in the last thing to do is to bring over the second funnel we worked on and that looked just like this and i just want to take out the inner section again the steamer section here now the glue from putting these details in may have wedged that into place i'm just checking mine i think mine's actually okay might take a little bit of uh, maneuvering to get this out i will try and give this a push with a screwdriver at this end and there you go that's that middle section out so now we've got an empty section there undo this extension cable and basically we've got to want the female end at the top the male end down the bottom so what i'm going to do is just feed through the female end at the bottom so it comes out at the top exactly like we've done for the other one here just like that so now that's that extension lead in place and in the meantime on this section here i'm just going to take another one of these bands and wrap this around so that it's tight to the body of this steamer unit. Just like that. The last thing to do is we're gonna be putting this funnel into place. So it's gonna go in here, but we do need to put the extension plug here, just through the starboard side, this side here, like this. Let it take up the slack. and then push this into place here, just like that there. 
That's going to be held in with two screws. Got those screws here. These are AP screws. See what I mean about a big issue, this one? Absolutely loads to do. Underneath here, just putting these in with these screws. So that's one. And two. And that's all there is to do in that stage. What a stage that was. So oh, stage 23. Glad that stage was over with. <laughs> uh, as you can see, we're going to be fitting the anchor winch. So we've got the anchor winch to put in place here. This looks like quite a quick stage, to be honest with you. So uh, let's get that together. So here's the details in stage 23. We've got the anchor winch there. Looks like we've got a case here as well and some screws. First thing we want to do is we want to make sure we've got about six centimeters of winch cable out one two three four five six so that's probably good there and i'm going to put this into this holder here so uh just got to confirm which way round it goes it's going to be going this way round like this and just push that down so that then this winch cable can come out through the slot just at the front like that we're going to close that off by putting the top over the top here and then we've got these AP screws. Get them together just to screw that down. Just like that. So the winch is now inside there. Bring over the hole section. And you can see we've got four little holes just in the inside here. These are going to go in those holes. Just lining them up with the winch cable pointing towards the front. And they're held in with these AM screws. Again, we're going into metal. So I have put these in a touch of oil. And this is the last one here. And we're putting this screw in. That's all there is to do in this stage. So that brings us up to stage 24. And as you can see, we've got another piece of the hull that we're going to be putting in. We've also got the anchor by the look of it that we're going to be starting to attach. So by the end of it, it's looking just like that. So bringing back the hole that we've been working on here, as you can see, this is actually just going to be going onto, oh, other way around, this side just here. So get, once again, this lined up along the edge. So now that's in, we've got three LM screws to put in. I say screws, but again, they are Allen key driven. So you need to get your Allen key out and get these screwed in. I'll put them in loosely to start off with. I have dropped these in a little bit of oil. Just to make it a little bit easier to get these in. And then once those three are in, similar to what we've done last time, we've got some KM screws here and they're just gonna go into the two points just on this bracket here. So there you go, that's that side in. It does take some manipulation just to get that round there. And look, I've got my fingerprints all over it now, but that's what that looks like. We then got the anchor here. So I get the anchor open. Probably on the side camera is the best. I'm just gonna feed the anchor chain through the hole in this side and then pull that through like this. If you look on the top camera now, it's actually just gonna go above this little pulley there over to this section just here and it's going to clip in the end to the end of the winch that I just have here so pull this back get this threaded on just like that and that's the anchor in place now it should be spring loaded so when we pull this down and it comes up no electrics or mechanically driven that's excellent and that's all there is to do in that stage so in stage 25 here again i'm just gonna flick through to the end and as you can see here we've got the well deck uh forward bulkhead bulkhead here looking just like that uh we're going to be putting another 
bit of electric in there so by the end of it it's looking just like that as a matter of fact this is really going to come together because now we've got the two levels of deck there so everything in here is what we've got for stage 25 so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of these connectors just on the bulkhead here now the connectors which haven't got little tops on go in the middle and the ones that have got the little tab on go at the end now they have got little keyholes so it's pretty easy to see which way round these go and they're all held in with CP screws I've got them here so I'll secure all of these into place I'm just going to take now the well deck which we've worked on previously and the bulkhead it's going to go this way round and these lugs here these three are just going to fit at the bottom lining everything up just like that now when you push these bulkheads in they have got little tabs that go just through these slots here which will help you align that also strong enough to actually keep it in place do this one while you're screwing this in so three of these one here now in the middle here we've got another electric light to put in I will once again just check this light make sure everything's working so plugging this in always good to check the lights as you can see that's on no problems at all now this is shaped so you just want to follow the shape that we've got of this section here so I'm going to put one side in and so I'm not putting undue stress again on the circuit board I'm just going to use a little flathead just to help pry this pin apart and it just makes it a little bit easier as you see to get that in without putting pressure on the uh, circuit board there I now need the foxel deck I used to call this a forecastle but all you peeps corrected me so hopefully that's right uh, we're going to turn it upside down and on these points just at the uh, end here see we've got two little tabs just here we're actually going to be putting these steps now these just go over these sections here and push in doesn't tell me to glue them I'm wondering should I just drop a little bit of glue just around that tab I think I will I don't want these falling out and get this one into place I will do the same on the other one both of these sections now are going to be put together so what we're going to do is by holding this we have got details on this side so I don't really want to put it flat but that bulkhead we put in is actually just going to go over the top of this section here like this gently putting that down because again I know there's details on that and it's going to be held in with two CP screws so I've made sure the tabs are in the end ones here and I've got the first CP screw here get that all the way in perfect gently put that down as you notice I'm not screwing this down on the base because I don't want to crush any of those details and here's the second one perfect and that are those two decks together and that's all there is to do in that stage So the last stage in this pack, stage 26, we're going to be doing the deck of the engine room, uh, which looks just like this. So by the end of it, we have got this looking like that. And the first thing we want to do is we want to take these two little pipe sections here and we want to link these together. I am going to put a tiny bit of glue on these to keep these in one place. Now these are extremely tidy, so best to use some glasses again. And they should look like that when they're in. So that's the first one done just going to do one more and that's the second one done there as well now I want to take these two parts here and I want to link these together so I'm just going to push them together it's going to require a little bit of glue in here they did want me to uh, do this part first but you know me I do things out of order <laughs> but there you go and push that together so it's one complete part now the sections we just made here are just going to go on top of this section here so they're actually going to go into the holes at one side I think it's probably best actually if I put one in and show you how that looks it will give you an idea of how this goes so as you can see 
that's one side in let's do the other side and there's the second one in looking like that and then we do have a hole left over on this side let me just uh, show you that again so I'm going to put some glue in just here it's a little d-shaped hole get me tweezers and I've got this really tiny detail which is going to go in there now it faces down it's like a little pipe I'll get that in so that looks just like that and that's the completed part done now if we look at this deck here this is actually going to be going onto this section just here and we have got two locating lugs at the bottom so it's going to fit on just like that it's held in from the other side with the silver ep screws make sure that's insecure which it is and that's all there is to do in that stage that's all there is to do in that pack so i can't end this stage without just showing you this and how this looks pretty amazing isn't it as a matter of fact let me uh get this on this camera i love that that looks brilliant <laughs> so there you go that's another pack completed now if you want to get this yourself and you are in a territory that does it i have put the link in the video description so you can get this all the way from pack one but i really hope you liked that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care